We did it, boys! All five treasures are mine! <laughs> uh, boys? <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flintheart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough. But these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, MacDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, I. You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> Magic or dispel? Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm. Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon. They sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Like a Rudy, Uncle Scrooge, I can't move. Me neither. Now I know how a statue feels. Eh, greedy old fools. These treasures are far more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake Von Bloodstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spell to summon him. Bah, what rubbish. You will see. With power of Dracula Duck under my command, I will rule the world. Unless, uh, you'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. We'll save me a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bite. The first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Hey, Dimses are hostages. Find your own. Quiet, Piggle Boys. <laughs> now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home on Mount Vesuvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Snackula for Dracula. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Sometimes I still get carried away. That lousy, no-good so-and-so. I stole those treasures fair and square. This is no time for bellyache and long gold. I've got to save those boys. Pah, forget it. That she-devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Ah, oh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Ha! Without your dime, I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has-been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability. And I'm gonna be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head. Now remember our deal, Flinty. Help me rescue the lads, and the treasure is yours. 
You keep up your end, and I'll keep up mine. Glumgold, time is money. It could be dangerous, McDuck. You go first. Oh, no, is it? I didn't get rich by being foolish. I'm growing old, just not as old as you. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. Swing the hip.
pillow stuffer? I'm helping like you are. Quit complaining. Before beauty, plenty. Is there no end to this madness? Busy duck. This Wash that duck has been first, my duck. Uh, it took you long enough to catch up. What's the matter? Gold bricks in your caboose? Oh, shut your beak. You're not getting any younger yourself, you old windbag. Hush! Magica may not know we're here yet. We don't want to lose the element of surprise. So. You have decided to deliver dime, after all. <laughs> Release my nephews, you evil enchantress! Oh, not until you show me number one dime. Here it is. Now let the boys... What? It's been great doing business with you, Scroogey! <laughs> you too! You've been in cahoots from the beginning! No, even before beginning! Do you remember who sold you painting in first place? Was me in disguise, you fool! Why, you. No wonder it was such a bargain. Five dollar painting for you saved expensive treasure hunting expedition for me. And now, at long last, I am ready to use treasures to complete spell. Enough with the smoke and mirrors routine. You've got my dime. Now release the lads. Oh, boo-hoo. No time for buyer's remorse from old has -been. Better to stick with master plan. It's much more exciting. 
I now summon Dracula Duck. Behold! Dracula Duck, I, magic as a spell, have summoned you to do my bidding. You must obey my will and mine alone. <laughs> and my will is that you destroy this meddling old fool. old bat! Bang, tooth fool! Don't let Scrooge beat you! Oh no! Ultimate power! Ooh. How dare you! is worse than his bite. Oh, boys, I'm so glad you're all right. We knew you'd save us, Uncle yeah, Scrooge. we knew yep, you would. we sure did. Down that hall, lads. Launch pad will be waiting to take you to safety. What about you, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, the whole place is falling apart. Magic and Glomgold still have my number one dime, and I'm not leaving without it. You boys get going. Good luck, Uncle Scrooge. Scrooge. Now, give me dime! Not till you give me those treasures. I want to be filthy, stinking rich. You already are filthy, stinking rich. But not as rich as that Chiseler McDuck. Where's the treasure? 
No more horseplay. I need that dime. Oh, no, you don't, Missy. Ah, let go, you fool. Not till I get that treasure. Try, Magica, but I'll be taking my dime with me back to Duckburg. <laughs> Have a lovely time together. My number one dime. Return safe and sound. But Uncle Scrooge, well, what about the treasure? Yeah, we had it and we lost it. Sorry, Uncle Scrooge. Come on now, boys. We may not have got to keep the treasure, but we had the adventure of a lifetime. And best of all, we got to share it together. You, Webigail, Launchpad. And Epworth, too. Don't forget about Mrs. Beakley and Baba. And Fenton! And Gyro! They helped us too! <laughs> Indeed they did, lads! Now come on, let's head for home! Let go of me, you doddering old deadweight! Oh, pipe down, you mangy bird! It was real swell of you to give Glomgold a lift home, Mr. McD. <laughs> Aye. Uh, I'll put it on your bill, Flinty. You can pay me back in, oh, say three to five years. <laughs> With interest, of course. I'll get you for this, McDuck. Mark my words. <sighs> now, there's a sight I never got tired of. Come on, lads. Let's head to the ice cream shop. Oh, wahoo! <laughs> hey, can we each get our own cone this time, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, why not? I'm in a generous mood today. In fact, each of you can even get a cone with ice cream in it. <laughs> <laughs> 